Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to put the switches into this two gang box. Now, this two gang box has a power wire coming in through the top, which would be this wire. I always put my hot wires up against the stud so I know which ones they are. So this wire, the closest one to the stud, is going to be my hot wire. The second wire in is a switch leg that goes up to a light, and the third wire is a three wire going to a four-way switch where it has to have power in this box. Okay. My fourth wire is this one over here which goes down to an outlet. So I have a power coming in and then I have a power going out. I have a switch leg. This is my switch leg to my light and this is my three wire going to my four-way switch. Okay. So first thing we need to do when wiring this two gang box is to put all of our ground wires together. So we're going to twist all the ground wires together. So I kind of start twisting them a little bit so they're connected. Then take your linesman's pliers and get them nice and tight because you need two ground wires, one for this switch and one for this switch, so the green wire nut won't work in this case. So you want to have these nice and tight so if you were to put a tester on it, it wouldn't read open ground on your circuit. So get them nice and tight and then you're going to snip off two of the four wires, leaving the other two wires to hook up to your switches. Okay, so we're going to just snip them about six inches from our box. Put a little hook on them so we can attach them to our switch. And then we're going to kind of shove them into the box out of the way. Okay, the next thing we're going to hook together are the neutral wires. Since this is the same all one circuit, all of these neutral wires need to be hooked together. So I snip them all the same length, about six inches left outside the box, strip them back about three quarters of an inch. I have four wires, so a red wire nut will work with these four wires. Make sure you get a good tight connection so it doesn't read open neutral if you were to put your tester on here. Now, if you're using the new switches that have a neutral on them, then you would need to put two pigtails off of here. Then you would have to, you'd have six wires, which does not fit into a red wire nut. Then you would have to go up to a blue wire nut if you were going to put two neutral pigtails in that on there. Okay. And since we don't, I'm not putting the neutrals on there. I'm just going to fold this back into the box. Okay, so this wire then is my switch leg for my light. This is my three-way going for my switch going off in this direction. And then that leaves me with these two wires right here, which is the power in and then a power going out. So I would then Strip those off. Now, I usually like to leave, when I do two gang boxes, I like to leave the wire longer so that I can cut it off and I can use these two pieces for my pigtails. 
So I would strip these three quarters of an inch back and attach it to my power in and my power out. Make sure again you get a good connection. If you feel more comfortable, you can use your Wiseman's pliers and you can twist them together and then put the wire nut on there. Okay. So I'm going to kind of fold them into the box, get them out of the way. So I have two wires, power going to the light and a power going to the switch leg. single pole switch first. We have room for a ground, a hot, and a switch leg. It doesn't matter where the hot or the switch leg goes. Put the ground on the ground screw. Make sure you get it good and tight so you don't get an open ground. Flip your switch over. Put your hot here switch leg on your other two screws. Make sure you get, again, get good connections. Always put your loop in the direction that your screw spins. So I spin these clockwise, so the wire should go on in a clockwise direction. Okay, so there's my single pole switch. So you can put it in there, on or off, whether you want on going up or down. So then on the other ones, it's my three wire, a three-way switch. So again, we're gonna hook up the ground wire. Then the black screw is going to get the power or yeah, the power wire in this case. It's the power wire on the black screw. It's not staying on there. And the other two same color, in this case they're gold, so it doesn't matter which side you put them on, as long as they're across from each other. That's how you wire two gang box. All the grounds are wired nutted together, or wired together, twisted. Uh, you can't get the green wire nut on there because you need two wires coming off, so you just make sure you have a good tight uh, twist so you don't get open ground. The neutrals, in this case, I did not put neutrals on the switches, so I just put the neutrals into the boxes. The hot wire, I had to pigtail. I needed one hot wire for this switch and one hot wire for this switch. So I pigtailed two wires onto my power in, power out, hooked them. So I got a power in, a switch leg, I got a power here, and then the travelers to my four-way switch, which was going off in, in my left. And that is how you would wire a two-gang box where it's all on the same circuit.